Hi y'all, it's me TJ and I have to apologize. I realized after that last video I made, I, I don't know what has happened with my account slash accounts. Apparently I have more than one, but anyway, I mentioned it had been a long time since I made videos, etc, etc. And uh, when I reviewed that video, it was the only video on my account. So I don't know what's going on. It's been years since I've made videos. I've just had, you know, life. Life happens. And um, anyway, I, so I thought I would pop on and do a quick sort of intro video so that, you know, if anyone happens upon this channel, they're not thinking, what? What? <laughs> Who are you? Anyway, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm distracted by a cat who is very curious. So if you see that door back there opening or something, it's not a ghost. It's a cat. He is just curious. Anyway, so I thought I'd do a few fast facts about myself. So kind of, like I say, as an intro video, and I'll try not to ramble. I am a rambler, much to my husband's dismay. <laughs> anyway, so we'll get right to it, shall we? I am a Texan, born and bred. I am a mom, a grandmother of one little, well, he's not a little boy anymore. He's a young man. He's a <laughs> teenager. Anyway, and I have three children. They're all grown. I'm a semi-empty nester. My daughter, our daughter, is still living at home. She, thank heavens, she, you know, she's here because she is such a big help because of what I'm about to tell you. I've been um, my husband's caregiver, full-time caregiver for the past 10 years, and he's homebound for the most part, which means I'm homebound for the most part. And um, he's a little bit older than me, but I'm no spring chicken myself, so <laughs> anyway, she is a big help to both of us. Galahad, stop it. Hey, I thought you wanted to be in here with Mama. Sorry, I know that irritates some people when people are talking to their pets and making a video, but um, anyway, she, Galahad, come here. She helps out a whole lot with just things that require more strength than either of us have, and sorry, um, things like technology, which obviously I am I'm not that swift at now, nor have I ever been. Um, anyway, moving on, uh, let's see. I have notes here, but I cannot see them perks of getting older. <laughs> so let's do it like this, shall we? Yes, I need to do my nails so don't look at them. Anyway, um, I'm a little cancer survivor, which is so weird for me to say. I mean, I still have a four year and nine month haul ahead of me before he's going to declare me cured. But, um, Right now, I am, um, and I, I know in my last video, or my first video, I mentioned that I had surgery back in June, and that's what it was. Um, most days, you'll, if you came to our door, you would find me in an apron. I An apron is as part of my wardrobe as most fashionistas 
fashion forward wardrobes or part of their wardrobes. Um, well, that's all my notes. See ya. No. Okay. Anyway, um, I, I don't know what much else to add. I'm over 50. I'm be still my heart, 59 years old, which I'm, yes, I'm happy to be getting older and, um, but you know, it's just so weird when I think about my age. So I don't know why this, this year has just been like, okay, I'm 59. It just sometimes out of nowhere will hit me. I'm 59 and I will be 60 soon. Oh my goodness. So anyway, um, the picture in the back, if, if you're curious is, um, uh, my mother used to paint. So that's one of her paintings. She, she was a Bob Ross student and I believe a sort of would it be certified teacher for a while? I don't know. I, I could be lying. But anyway, if I'm lying, I'm not meaning to be lying. So, but anyway, I, since I am home a lot, and I am a homebody, I'm, you know, I'm not complaining at all. I'm a homebody, and I used to call myself a bookworm, but I haven't really been that much into books lately. But I guess I am but more so nonfiction, like learning things to improve not only on myself, but on life in general. And um, I used to be a big Daniel Steele fan back in my teenage, early 20 years. And I mean, I used to always have my face in a book, but then the internet came along, you know, and I guess, I don't know. I mean, I used to carry, here I go rambling, but I used to carry so many books out of the library, which I haven't been to a library in years, and um, thanks to the internet, I guess, but I used to not be able to hard, almost hardly, whatever, carry all the books that I would have in my arms. I mean, it was, they would be falling, practically falling out of my arms. That's how voracious of a reader I used to be. But anyway, back to introducing myself. We have a miniature dachshund who is kind of chunky like her mama. Um, as the vet says, we'd be eating at the good house. Um, oh my, I'm still swollen. Oh y'all, forgive me. I. I have a crooked mouth, a little bit swelling here. I didn't realize I was still swollen until I went to the dentist last week. And the um, hygienist looked at me and says, Oh, you're still a little bit swollen over there when I was telling her to please be gentle because I had to get a deep cleaning. Ramble, ramble. Here I go. I had to get a deep cleaning and I was like telling her about the trauma I had just been through and that my mouth had just been through and to please be gentle with me, which they were. They, you know, the dentist came in and deadened me up to the hilt. I mean, I, I, could, I couldn't even tell I had a lower lip or chin by the time he got done with me, but I'm glad he did. Anyway, I was scared. Um, Minnie Duxon. She's a red dapple, and her name is Dollface. And Galahad is our cat. The I have no idea where he's at now. He's probably oh, he's being a good boy. Um, I mean, he's always a good boy, but he's just sitting there, not trying to break out or break into anything. So, um, I you know I have hobbies. I. I do like to art journal and water, water paint, watercolor, which I'm kind of just now getting into. But anyway, and I, I can't say I used to like to bake, but I'm kind of I think outgrowing cooking. I mean, I've cooked and baked for 
out of necessity for, oh my goodness, um, mm, over 40 years. Yeah, now you're getting old when you say stuff like that. But anyway, and I'm kind of, I don't know, I don't have it in my heart anymore. It's just not, I don't care to cook much anymore. I do cook because, you know, it's economical and it's still out of necessity. But, I mean, I'm not cooking for growing boys or just, you know, a house full of kids or anything like that. It's just me and my husband. We're on totally two different eating type schedules. And the things that we... Sorry. I should have not brought him in here with me. But anyway, I digress. Oh, my. Oh, Lord. Anyway, pardon my goodness. Anyway... Yeah, I'm talking, you know, you're being naughty. I thought you would enjoy being here with Mama. You want to come with Mama? Oh, Chrissy, my daughter's cat is outside the door. That's what he's doing. He's, he's flirting with her or whatever they're doing. But anyway. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. I do get distracted. Mm, goodness. Ah. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, cooking. I I have to be in the mood nowadays to really get into it. I mean, baking. I used to bake something almost every day. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just running out of steam for a lot of things, I guess you might say. But anyway, I that's all I can think of now. And rather than to keep on rambling and boring happens to be watching this. Thank you, whoever you are. And thank goodness. Sorry, maybe I should have. Anyway, i um, going to let you go and hopefully, hopefully this will go down at some point. He said nine months, up to nine months. So I hope that's right. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Today happens to be, not that it matters, because who knows when anybody, if anybody, will be watching this. Um, today for me is Sunday while I'm making this. And um, so if it happens to be a Sunday for you or a whatever your weekend days may be, the last day before you have to go back to work. I used to work odd days and hours, so any day could be claimed to be our Friday or Saturday or Sunday. And if you've ever worked in restaurants or any other type of schedule like that, you probably know what I'm talking about. So whatever day it is for you, I hope you enjoy the rest of it. And see you next time. Bye.